Hello and welcome to an overview of the general geology of the Alps. In July of 2018, the Metropolitan State University students in the Applied Geology program took a trip to the Swiss Alps and this is a video containing information about the trip and about the Alps. The Alps mountain range stretches across seven countries and is 700 miles long and 125 miles thick, covering more than 80,000 square miles. There are four geographical regions, the Southern Alps, Central Alps, Eastern Alps, and the Western Alps. The Alps formation began in the tertiary period with the breakup of Pangaea as the African plate moved toward the Eurasian plate, resulting in subduction of the Tepe Sea. In the Jurassic period, the plates converged and this resulted in the Alpine orogeny. This orogeny initiated with the convergence of the Eurasian and the African plates, following a subduction event of nearby ocean basins. The convergence event caused a series of geologic phenomena, including the formation of naps, suture lines, and major thrust systems. Naps are distinctive features in the Alps range and result from the folding of rock that thrusts sideways over the pre-existing strata. These can form nap stacks, which are essentially just stacks of multiple naps. This area is also well known for its faulting. Major faulting is referred to as suture lines. The Peri-Adriatic line is a major suture line that runs laterally, separating North and South Europe and is the tectonic boundary between plates. There are four superunits in the Alps used to classify the different naps and geologic features. These are the Helvetic, Penninic, Astroalpine, and the South Alpine units. The Helvetic group is stratigraphically the lowest and contains naps of the continental Europe Eurasian plate. The Penninic group is characterized by ophiolitic rich naps from the Valais and Piedmont Ligurian oceans. The Penninic unit is visible in the Western and Central Alps. The Astra Alpine unit is highly visible and contains naps from the Adriatic Plate and Ophiolites from the Meliata Ocean. The last superunit, the South Alpine, is made up entirely of the Adriatic Plate. The jagged and high peaks of the Swiss Alps comes from periods of glaciation and this just results from U-shaped valleys, arets, horns. This is why you get such amazing peaks like the Matterhorn. Um, in this clip here, you can see inside of the Rhone Glacier where you are able to walk inside of it through a maintained trail. Um, it is in a constant state of melting. However, it has been retreating about 50 feet since 2008. Also from glaciation is the Matterhorn, which is in the next clip. You can see the it is a horn itself, and that is why it has that unique shape. Thank you for watching. I hope you learned something about the Swiss Alps today.